Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we are going to see what the dawn of man was like. I want to know what led to this. <laughs> Where did it go wrong? What's the missing link? <laughs> All right, let's go into new game. You've not completed the tutorial <laughs> as if I needed. I really should do it though, shouldn't I? Like how many times have I not done the tutorial? And it's just backfired completely. No, I, I'd rather not learn my lesson. Okay, 12,000 years ago, the last glacial period has just ended. That sounds fantastic. Settlement name. Let's come up with something silly. Seattle. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh my god, what is wrong with this kid? What the hell? I think I found the missing link already. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> Let's put you in the river. Can I put him in? <laughs> god damn it. I was just gonna try and put him in the river immediately. Oh my god, I can go closer in. Hold on, let me get a better look. <laughs> You're terrifying. All right, let's build a skull pole. That's our first, our first necessary item that we need. They're like, but shouldn't we build like shelters or storage perhaps for winter? Maybe production. We could have a crafter skins dryer. No, <laughs> spiritual skull pole. All right, what do I need to build this? If only there was some sort of learning experience that would ease you into the game and teach you the basics. Wait, what the hell is that? That's a bear. How do I send the boy over? He's getting away. Get across. Do you know how to swim, child? <laughs> Either way, if you don't, it still accomplishes my goal of killing you. <laughs> yes, he knows how to swim. Now it's just more vicious. The bear probably thinks he's just an oversized salmon. He's getting tired. Are you serious? I can't even chase the bear fast enough. What is wrong with you, child? Do you not want to die or something? All right, you know what? I'm going to send him just off into the distance then. Oh my God, that is so far away from, from where we are. Okay, go there. <laughs> it's so far away. I hope I can even even find where my settlement is now. Okay, he's there. Settlement's here. Okay, great. <laughs> he's gonna be gone for a long time. All right, we need bone. How can we get bone? Could you kill one of the other villagers, perhaps? What if we just gather everyone and go up to a bear? Maybe the adults can attack a bear? Yes, it looks like they can. Cave lion attack. Wait, where? Oh, it's the boy. <laughs> Wait, where is the boy? <laughs> oh, he's up here <laughs> in the mountains. Cave bear attack. Hold on, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, we killed him. We killed him. Gather his bones. Population seven capacity six. Well, that's why I banished the child. It wasn't just like random malice. There was a reason for it. No, but for real, it was kind of random malice. I didn't even see that part. Wait, what, what's wrong with you? Why do you have this? What? What is this? Oh, they contracted something. I missed the message. God damn it. Have you ever heard of email? Could you just email me all these feckin' cavemen? They've got an infection of some sort. Well, if I've learned anything from this year, you should be banished. I'm sending you off into the hills. There you go. Good luck to you. All right, we just need dry skin. So we're gonna have to build something to get dry skin or else take it from the child one or the other <laughs> skin dryer okay can we make this what do i need to actually make this just sticks all right there you go make it they're gathering fruit and they've nowhere to put it either all right maybe i should make some other stuff What's that? Cave hyena attack. You can take a feckin' hyena, can't you? There you go. Now we just have more bones. Look at that. They're all happy now because the children have been banished and they're crafting stuff with sticks. Imagine if I was in charge of all this. Like, I was in charge of evolution. <laughs> We'd have, like, 17 arms. It'd be great. You could just cartwheel everywhere. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Some sort of migration. In our culture, that is frowned upon, I have just decided. Let us go kill them. Get them, boys. <laughs> just chase him into the forest. I like how I frown upon migration, but yet I sent the two kids <laughs> migrating north and south for the winter. All right, it's it's too hard to actually catch them. They're they're too feckin' smart for us. It's because they have these big brain fans. Because our our people aren't smart enough to know any better. They think the brain is stored in the antlers, which is why they have no brain and they <laughs> they don't really know what they're doing. Oh, <gasps> but look what they do know how to build skull pole. Wow, where'd you get the skulls? from? from. You know what? Never mind. I like it. It's very bare bones. Do you get it? Because it's actually like literally bare bones. That's a good joke. There's literally like nothing we can do with it. <laughs> I don't know what this does for us. <laughs> but you know what? It fancies the place up a bit. It dresses it up. This is a place you'd have a dinner party at. You can tell all the animals are coming by because of our decor. Wait, is that another child? I thought I banished you. Off you go. Uh, up there should be good. <laughs> You're going to be a famous explorer. Look at him just walking off through the river. <laughs> My time has come. <laughs> It'll be fine. They crawl up so fast. 
Actually, no, they don't grow up at all because I banish them and I, I assume they die. <laughs> the animals are really showing dominance. They are migrating through our camp and we did nothing. We are low on food. It sounds like a you problem, to be honest. I'm going to build another hut here. Seattle's becoming quite dense. I'm definitely lowering the property value of the neighbors. We have no food. That sounded like a victorious noise. I thought something good had happened. <laughs> Oh, someone just got mauled by a bear, I think. Oh, no, they're just about alive. That's okay. He's getting hit a lot <laughs> by the bear. <laughs> Don't worry, the sticks are working. Yes, the sticks worked. Such advanced weaponry. The bear had no chance. Gosh. Gosh, indeed. Yeah, it's been a hell of a day. I have decided my people are a war tribe. They just attack over and over again. <gasps> Woolly mammoth. Let's make them extinct. <laughs> this seems like a bad idea. <laughs> like, not the extinction part. I just have a feeling they might make me go extinct. Oh. Oh, he even has the high ground. Oh, and his buddies are joining in. Where's this loyalty in my tribe? This kid is just running away. Come on, you're six now. You're old enough to fight a mammoth. Come back. This guy's running away too. <laughs> old man Mardok is out of here. If we stick together, you can do this. He's almost dead. All right, one of them ran away. Look, let's just loot the corpse. That's a victory in my book. Was that a, a one for one or did no one in my tribe die? Because if no one died, even better. Look at all this meat. Wow. Oh, and the body just sunk into the ground, given back to nature, the circle of life. We got 10 bones from that. <laughs> we have no hunting tools. I don't know how to make hunting tools. Could you guys just like advance to the steel age? <laughs> what about bone spears? Surely you can make that. We have no fuel. What are you trying to do? Drive to the store to buy spears? <laughs> Clothing. Why are you guys so needy? <laughs> you can see on our food chat, we were so low and then we killed the mammoth and it spiked. We've clearly found a way to survive and that's making the mammoths extinct. It's either us or them people. There are no other options. All the vegetarians are screaming at the screen right now. Some of your people have no tools. Like these all just sound like you problems. Go away. All right, we're going to make a crafting house, okay? We just need some dry skin and some sticks. Put that to priority high. I no longer want storage. <laughs> gather sticks. Oh, I can put down a work area. Okay, yeah, gather all of the sticks here. That is so many sticks. That is like a full-time job. I have started capitalism. It is in motion, folks. <laughs> I just... I can't really explain it to them. It's a lot to try and unpack for them. Imagine trying to explain that to them. It's like, all right, folks, we have begun the process of capitalism. Ooga booga ooga. Oh yeah, that might be a bit complicated for you, but don't worry, the wheels are in motion. What is wheel? All right, let's see. So we can create wooden harpoons. No, I, I want bones. Requires bone tools. You don't understand bone tools? What's to understand? You have bones, make them pointy like you do with stick. I think in this game, there's no like resource tree. It's just a case of building things until your people realize like, oh, I can improve on this design. And then they stick a bone on top. Uh, God is angry at Seattle, guys. There's a lot of lightning. <laughs> Maybe it's time to start worshipping at the, the skull pole. In that case, right click and just continuous production. Always be making spears. <laughs> We've already hit the industrial era. <laughs> oh, all our food just plummeted. Who is hogging all the food, everyone? Now we gotta go out and kill a mammoth. Oh, this one's worshipping the skull pole. I was wondering why the lightning stopped. Glashnok is a cruel god. Wait, who are you guys? <laughs> oh, this is Markel. The new human joins the settlement. I think he left it earlier. I gotta be honest with you, Markle. I'm not inspired by you running off, but also I'm not inspired by the fact you're joining now because we're a settlement with zero food. And honestly, I, I just doubt your decision-making skills if you think joining us now is a good idea. But anyway, you have joined us. There's no backsies and we're gonna go kill some mammoths now. <laughs> They killed him and then they're just like, oh, pick the berries, pick the berries. <laughs> like looking at the other mammoth, like, must have been old age. <laughs> pick the berries. <laughs> All right, good work, folks. But we have to work harder if we want to properly make them extinct. One of them is trying to run away. And it would appear he got away. For something so big, you'd think it would be harder. But no, <laughs> I don't see any tracks or anything. I do see this big boar, though. If we strike now, maybe we can stop Boar Ragnarok from ever happening. Boars are quite vicious from what I understand. Yeah, Hakuna Matata and all that. <laughs> I think my people are dying. Oh, you're a bit late to the party. <laughs> Look at that. That's like a foot deep. And he's like, sorry, guys, I'm just a slow swimmer. <laughs> just procrastinating. He doesn't want to fight the boar. Why is there a sad face? Is that telling me that the, the boar is sad? <laughs> oh, it's a woolly rhino. I thought it was a boar. <laughs> or is it my person that's sad? This human has low stats. Then what's the point of them? Banish him. A trader has arrived. Ooga booga, we kill you now. <laughs> Wait, they know how to make bone tools. Here are all our clothing. Some dry skins, some spears that we're not going to need anymore. 
Perfect. A good deal. Bone tools unlocked. All my people are now naked. <laughs> if winter comes soon, which it might, it's fall. <laughs> they might all die. But we can play with bones now, so that's awesome. We've entered the bone age, everyone. Yes, look at this. Bones, 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 bones. I keep canceling, like, the outfit thing. I'm like, no, stop. And I keep adding it to the queue. They're like, please, dude, we're gonna freeze. And I'm like, no, no, <laughs> gone, no. Some of your people have no warm clothing or no clothing at all, actually. Doesn't matter. It must be warm if he's going for a feckin' swim. There we go. I've disabled it so they cannot make warm clothing. <laughs> make bone spears. We spent a lot learning this, okay? We literally gave the shirts off our backs <laughs> so that we could learn bone tools. And we're gonna use this strategy to make something extinct. And if that happens to be us, so be it. <laughs> I'm willing to take that risk. All right, what do we got here? One bone spear. Hurry up. Come on. <gasps> Cave hyena attack. This is our moment, people. This is why we have the bone tools. I don't think this is an attack, you know. I think they've just stumbled on the wrong camp. <laughs> That's right. We're a bone tool camp now. Look, there's more things to kill. Go nuts, everyone. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're killing. I have no knives to actually cut them open, so I'm just killing for the funsies at this point. <laughs> Yes, I actually got a boar now. I don't know why I thought that was a boar the last time when it was feckin' massive. I didn't really pay attention to its size. Oh, here comes winter. I don't know where some of you got clothes. You must have been making them behind my back. And frankly, that pisses me off. You're lucky the trader isn't here. I'd give all of your clothes away. And you see, God's angry at you now. Should have just worshipped naked at the skull pole. This guy is so sad. I think he's gonna discover depression before he discovers the wheel, to be honest. His morale is just empty. Do you think those children are still alive that I just sent into the wilderness. I can't imagine they'd be. Well, you never know. Kids are resilient, you know? Gonna make a feckin' city. Get as many people as I can. What are these? Are these bulls? Yeah, that seems like a good idea to attack them. We need your supplies. Oh god, they are aggressive. They're very aggressive. This guy's like, could really use some soup. <laughs> okay, great. We got all of their meat. Trader has arrived. Oh, nice. Now I can give away all my clothes again, which is just one outfit. Yeah, sure. Give me bones. Give me bones. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'm just giving it away at this point. It's like a charity shop. They must be so confused why their free will just decided to turn this little settlement into a little city for no reason. They can't even sustain themselves. They can't even get shirts on their back. And they're building a city for some unknown reason. And then every now and again, they get a wild notion that they just go, come on, everyone, let us go fight the rhino. <laughs> and they, roll, they just walk into the forest. Oh, we killed your parent. I'm sorry, buddy. We'll kill you too. Don't worry. I don't want to let you live like that. Such a good person. I found the last woolly mammoth and their children. This is it, folks. This is it. This is where we make them go extinct. You're nothing compared to our bone spears, you furry monster. <laughs> These ones don't even have weapons. They're just slapping it. You're too low to escape, dude. Don't even bother. There you go. You're dead. Your whole line is dead. <laughs> this guy's a Z. Are you just sleepy or something? <laughs> yeah, he is just sleepy. He's like, oh, making an animal go completely extinct is exhausting. I could make harpoon for fishing, but that seems below me now. Like, we're we're a mammoth tribe, all right? We eat mammoth. <laughs> like, honestly, do you want to be like, oh, I eat fish every day, or do you want to be like, oh, oh, me eat mammoth? <laughs> Look at this. Our, our settlement is better than ever. We have more food than we have ever had. We also have more people than we've ever had. I hope this doesn't turn. <laughs> Can you guys, like, make babies for me or something? Domestic animals. All they know is to kill. <laughs> they don't see the long-term benefits of actually domesticating some of these animals. I mean, I don't think they even know how to breed themselves, not mind the animals. More bone poles. Please, the bone gods. Trader, hello. You have nothing cool. You have like bread and stuff, but that's gross. We only eat meat here. How do we attack? Damn it, we can't attack. They must have thought we were like some really advanced tribe or something because we're so large. But no, we're really not. <laughs> In fact, the fact that we're so large actually speaks volumes of our stupidity. <laughs> Because there is no need for this. New human was born. Jeruk. Why didn't you consult me in the naming process? So I couldn't have named it something cool like Kevin. If I had it my way, everyone in the village would be called Kevin. People are joining my settlement. I like how we just allowed them to join. My food is plummeting because there's so many people joining. 
doing? Yeah, keep praying to the skull pole. Maybe he'll feed you. Oh my god, they're eating so much meat. Look at all these slabs of meat they're bringing over. There's a storm. We are running out of food because of the speed at which you're eating it. And praying to the skull pole actually doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> I think we're all becoming atheists in this tribe. Oh my god, the food is just depressing. I can't keep enough to keep my people alive. Can I put this away? Yeah, oh, there we go. Now I feel much better. Out of sight, out of mind. Except for them and the, the food. Just because food is out of sight for them doesn't mean it's out of mind because it's actually a, a very painful experience for them. They are all starving to death as we speak. I can just see someone running there and there's intense music. What, what's following you? Oh, it's a mountain lion. Okay. Oh, look. It's little baby Vorghack. When did you come into existence? Oh, Mardok has been killed. Yeah, we kind of just forgot about him. Oh. <gasps> They have a dog. Yes, I'll trade all my clothings for dog. I overpaid them in clothing. I'm so excited about the dog. Oh, wait, no, that's just unlocking the domestication of dogs. Okay, well, that's a bit disappointing. It's a disappointing Christmas this year. Now, honey, we know you wanted a dog, but instead we decided if a dog shows up of his own accord into our house, you can keep him. Oh, a dog. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> oh, they killed the dog. My people are hungry, I guess. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, this is a bad way to start a civilization. <laughs> we are low on food. God, that dog didn't go very far, did it? That's not a sentence I wanted to say today, to be honest. Everyone here is starving. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have killed, like, all the wildlife around us. Maybe we should have looked at more long-term solutions. Is that a dog? <laughs> oh, no, he's dead. <laughs> Troger has died of starvation. Where is Troger? Oh, that was one of the kids too, wasn't it? Oh, no, it wasn't. Maybe he grew up. I thought Troger was a kid. I don't know. It's hard to keep track of everyone in such a big bustling city. She's starving to death and praying to the skull pole for food. Hor UK has died of hunger as well. Oh, down by the river as well. I don't know why they come down to the river to die. It's just tradition, I guess. Um, The child's just died there as well. Uh, another person died by the river. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people are dying. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not looking too good for the dawn of man. I, I think this should have been called the extinction of man, not the dawn of man. <laughs> the circle of life. Dawn turns to dusk. New human was born. Why would you bring another human into this world? <laughs> there is no food. There are empty huts. It looks like Vikings have attacked. <laughs> There's bodies everywhere. We're at our lowest point of population ever. In fact, dogs are starting to outnumber us, which is bad because we started a war with them. We just started killing them for no reason. Well, to eat them, there was some reason. All the huts are falling into disrepair. The place looks feckin' abandoned. There's dead bodies inside the tents as well. Like, historians will unearth this and be perplexed at what happened here. <laughs> we have no food. Yeah, I think I got the picture. Actions speak louder than words. Space for 46 more people. I don't even know where my people are. It's snowing now. There's no people here. Where are they? Where did they run to? Two. They're all gone. We have no fishing tools. That's your feckin' worry, is it? Workload is very high. 350%. But where is everyone? We have no food. Yeah, but we have no people. So is it even an issue? Like, where are they? Survives the winter. Knowledge plus one. Oh, now the people came out. Okay, they were hiding in their huts for winter. They're just praying. <laughs> they're praying constantly. God, this one's just meditating. It's actually kind of dark. I, I don't know what they're doing. Wait, are you eating? Are you holding out on everyone? What are you eating? What have you found? Okay, he's just eating grass. Fair enough then. This one can barely walk. Oh my god, they're all crippled. All right, folks, there's three of you left. I feel like I've built a solid foundation for you. It should go fine from here. I can't see anything going wrong. Like, you've plenty of space to live. Uh, there's not many mouths to feed anymore, so you'll probably be able to figure that whole mess out. I'm happy with what we've done here. I've given humanity a good start. I hope you enjoyed the learning process here today, folks. I really do. I appreciate you as always. If you want to check out more of my stuff, I post every day. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.